In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Hanaduri Edge Notebook. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a paper test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this notebook coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. This is the Hanaduri Edge Notebook. The notebook comes shrink-wrapped, and it comes with this slip cover here. And if we look at it here, we see a book of writing and drawing, fountain pen friendly, sheen and shading, premium Korean paper, acid-free, hand-bound, lay-flat, A5 size, and it's 105 GSM and 128 pages. It's called The Edge, and it's made in Korea by Hanaduri. Uh, I bought this notebook for $18. Now, it's called The Edge because the bound spine here is painted. I believe this is probably done by hand. This nice blue and you can see that we have nine signatures here, which is pretty good for 128 pages. It kind of has a, a, a sh like the paint that they used on this is a little bit shiny, although it doesn't don't seem to be showing too well on camera here. But the rest of it is completely blank. There's nothing on it. It is sort of coverless, like a Midori MD notebook. Now, opening. The notebook, we have this bright yellow end paper, which looks, I think, nice complement to the bright or the, the blue spine there. And this is a blank notebook, and it lays very flat. There are really no features to it, it's just a blank notebook. Now, in terms of the spine, nine signatures. It's pretty flexible. There's definitely some resistance there, but there's no issue with it laying flat. Uh, it works pretty nicely. Now going on to the paper test here, let's take a look. So looking at the face of it here, really no issues. I, I don't see any feathering. Everything looks very nice here. Um, you do get some sheening on the Diamine Festive Cheer, which is a, a sheening ink. I don't, you know, necessarily see a ton of it, but there definitely is a little bit. Now, going to the back, all of the, the fountain pens definitely pass, no bleeding at all. We did get a little, just very slight spotting from the Oto Fude Ball, the 1.5 millimeter, the Uniball Air Micro 0.5, and the Pentel Energel 1.0 millimeter. So with the roller balls, I think this still actually works because the the amount that's coming through is almost nothing. It's not perfect, uh, but it's pretty good. Now, the paper also did pretty decently with some of the more difficult pens. Lumo Color Permanent Marker doesn't look like it, you know, fully quite fully penetrated all the way through in, you know, the few spots there. The Sharpie, you know, came through a little bit. Pilot Oil Drawing Pen just ever so slightly. And the Copic uh, did come through somewhat, and we did get a, a little bit on, on the other page there. Now, it's a bright white paper, and it's quite nice to write on. You know, I was enjoying writing on it with this Pilot Parallel. This is the 2.4 millimeter version. It's a very pleasant paper to write on. It's a thick paper, very fountain pen friendly. So what are my pros and cons for the Hanaduri Edge Notebook? The biggest pro for me is the paper. I think it works really well with fountain pens. I did not have any issues with bleeding or feathering. I like that it's only $18, which is pretty affordable. I like this painted spine. It's a little weird, to be honest, but I, I like it. It's interesting. It lays very flat. You know, the, the design is pretty minimalistic. And yeah, I've enjoyed using this notebook. Now, in terms of cons, in terms of cons, the biggest issue, I think, is availability. I don't see a lot of places where you can buy these. I bought this at PAL Books in Portland. 
but online I'm not I'm having a hard time finding a place where you can get these now the other issue I would say is if you like rollerballs I did get some bleeding with rollerballs not not badly I mean it's 105 GSM paper so it is a pretty thick paper but they did come through a bit that's pretty much it so do you guys have this notebook do you like this notebook let me know in the comment section below if you like this video please hit that like button and if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos please hit that subscribe button thank you guys so much and until next time